Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Saving Your Disaster campaign, the Psionic Escalation. In the first episode we saw how we just barely managed to sneak into the Blackside facility to deal with the massive Advent Timer and we realized as we were doing that, uh, that we're outgunned by quite a margin, to be honest. And now it's time for us to hopefully strike back. In order to do that, let's first and foremost get our snipers into a better position. So we got to use some sort of deceiving tactics. Otherwise, I don't think that this here is easily going to be um, possible. And by deceiving tactics, I mean we got to use some sort of tricks um, that give give us advantages. In this case, we brought two snipers, and although their weapons are not great, they still are okay. So whatever we can pick off with the sniper rifles should be okay for now. Let's see if we can... Get on top. Let's free up that. Let's move over here. That way everyone is in a solid fire line and we're going to use our snipers in order to move upstairs. All right. Let's not care about that team for now. I want to get some free shots on the tower before we're actually engaging them. Moving over here. And moving up here. Let's get some support. Whilst we're anyways um, standing on top here, might as well put one or two more of our soldiers near that location. Good. High ground will help us to at least hit some shots. I see everything. Good. So that pack might become a bit of a trouble later. For now, we're fine. Very decent shots. Let's try to hit the tower. Thanks to blue screen rounds, we're dealing remarkable amounts of damage with a uh, with a ballistic weapon. By the way, I can't fathom why, if you are continuing with ballistic weapons, you wouldn't at least go for uh, and try to go for a breakthrough. They must have gone. There must have been so much wrong with that campaign. At times can only speculate good almost having um, we're almost having the tower down this has not yet triggered them which is good. I mean, one way of dealing with them certainly would be to just use the rocket launcher. Okay. 
another option would be to get a bit closer and that would be quite a bit of damage mm, let's think that through so that, that'll be five points of damage Together with the rocket launcher, we would almost one-shot them. We got three more grenades afterwards. Don't want to use too many resources. We got to be really, really mindful to not excessively use resources. Tower is not the problem here. We can deal with it a bit later. So Sector would die. But we wouldn't have a guaranteed kill on the others. Purifier, not a problem. We at least need to kill the Stun Lancer. There are quite a few heavy or full cover spots. And maybe one of the correct ways of dealing with it is... Wow, that's a heavy Lancer. I see. That's a problem. Advanced Officer is also a problem. The Officer will take the Overboard shots. So not sure if it's a good idea to, uh, to uh, take an Overwatch with one of our Snipers. Ah... Uh misused so we're not even dealing enough damage that is unfortunate we're committed though we certainly could have had a better outcome here Let's try our best to somewhat salvage the situation. A misclick is unfortunate and I was hovering for a while before that misclick happened. Good, so we're down to two grenades. Where could we position ourselves? Could move up to here. This here would be high ground in flanking. I love it. Not good enough to kill him, unfortunately. This here should not be in tower range. It is half cover, not the best, but we're doing fine and this a crit could kill him. Or we're just executing him, which is fine as well. Moving up, we could go for a suppression that would prevent the marking ability. Not the worst idea. And that's a two third chance to hit him. 
I'll take my uh, chances on that. Unfortunately dodged. And we gotta use some suppression. Unfortunately he just ignored it and banked on the fact that we are not hitting anything. Which he correctly assumed. Luckily for us, uh, the enemy was not hitting much either. Keeping my eye on you. Enjoy these final breaths. Good. Moving up. Your fire is almost down. If we would move, we would um, start to burn. So we're not going to do that. Is there any position? Yes, this one here. I was about to say, is there any position where we would be out of the tracking shot? That's an excellent one. Plus, he's behind destructible cover. Big fat mistake. I see how it is. We can only finish uh, the purifier. Or we're going to use Comet Protocol. Either way. Let's not cluster up too much. That's a really bad idea. Instead, let's take the optimal position, which is high ground, so that we maximize our chances of hitting. Very nice. I don't like it, but we gotta take the chances here. Alright, moving down. Of course, we're missing an important shot. Reloading and let's use Comet Protocol to hit this guy. It's time to make the elders proud. Good, so that's pack number three and we're getting more and more injured here. So let's get everyone back in position. Reloading. Reloading wherever possible. Good to go. Oh boy, half of our team is injured. Let's uh, exchange the ones at the front line 
for the ones that are not yet hit. So we killed three plus two plus two. That's unfortunately only seven so far. Probably another pack up here. Number eight would be the tower. Probably another pack up here and probably one more pack inside. There is the upstairs pack. And if we hit this uh, um, Spectre, yep, oh, that is awesome. Very nice damage. We can, by the way, uh, get back into the shadows. Fortunately, both of them are triggered already. Certainly don't want to stand around. We're moving back, which is fine. In terms of standing at the front line, how about we're moving back and Into full cover. And Baller here takes the flank. Overwatching everyone. That way they need to come into our direction. And they probably will need to double move. Spectre vanishes, which is fine. The Viper just flat out double moves. Chosen takes some tracking shots, and that's okay. I get it. Putting ourselves into full cover. Let's mark the Viper. Moving into a nice little flanking position for cover. Alright, let's move over here. Only half cover. A really solid damage. Fortunately, we got the tracking shot directly targeted onto us. Yeah, the only really decent position is up here. I don't like standing in the open. But we do have a plan B if this here fails. Alright, plan B. Another sniper with a pistol. We had to plan C if that would have failed. But I prefer to keep our... Um, stealth. So the Spectre might or might not show up. The fact that we're having a tracking shot marked onto us means the Spectre is certainly still very much near and can see us. All 
right, so getting everyone into solid cover, overwatch if necessary, and reloading whenever possible. Wow, this is raw, very, very raw. It feels like we're slowly, super slowly advancing without much progress, to be honest. There is the Shadowbound, but luckily we have hit uh, the Spectre beforehand, so no need to be afraid. I think it can't really go anywhere. Nah. And that was a stupid move. I can see it further than you think. Good. We're moving up here because this is, that's just a uh, best chance to hit it and this should get rid of the specter there you go good we got ourselves a promotion Moving outside of the tracking shot range next turn, tracking shot will not be a problem anymore. Good, and we're continuing to just stand here. We got a solid, solid position. And now that the Chosen can no longer tracking shot us, we are okay kill two additional so we're at 10 which means i am forecasting that we're probably going to see another pack inside of the facility that was number 11 down Roger that. Sure thing. moving our front line up just a tiny bit I think this here would be fine. It's a bit too dangerous. I don't know what's happening over there. So we got a reload. And then we can continue moving next turn. As long as the Chosen does not spot out our reaper we should absolutely be fine good moving up moving up let's move up into full cover and let's move up into full cover over here So far we're doing great. I think we should reload the snipers. Okay, perfect. Good, 10 down. Let's take a tiny peek what's going to happen inside. Probably one, if not two packs. Opening the door, but we can't see anything. That is strange. Also don't want to go upstairs because I don't know if the Chosen is still downstairs or if he has grappled up. That would be pretty dangerous. Moving out. Good, for now. Trying to
uh, use our better position here. The snipers really have nice aiming angles for anything in the courtyard here, but I think we've um, automatically killed all of uh, the patrols. I don't think that there's any more in here. So as much as it pains me, I think we got to move up with the snipers. Yeah, we can hear that there is some movement inside. Believe it or not, the snipers have comparably high health because they are the ones that haven't been hit so far. So for now we're overwatching, very careful with entering. Maybe we can even trick them into coming and uh, basically running into us. Yeah, I'm just overwatching. From time to time they, uh, the, um, the one patrol inside is actually moving out. I'll give it a couple of rounds. We don't even have a sign where the chosen might be. That's unfortunate. Okay. Anyways, let's take a peek. Nothing, that is surprising. We don't know where exactly the pack is, but just from the movement, it's either upstairs. It's either upstairs, like here, unlikely. More likely, it is right there. Let's just overwatch for now. There is a good chance that they will be running into us. All right, killed one, very nice. Also saw that there is a double Viper pack further down. Nice hit, very, very good. Moving over here. Good. If I was to move over, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to get inside, to be honest. That's an almost 100% chance to kill him. Let's just take that. Good. We're optimizing our action economy. Reload and let's take a shot.
good if we move over here that would give us a line of sight which is good solid kill exactly what we needed and let's close the door that will not block tracking shot just just to be clear We're overwatching, and that is that. There's an art to what I do. On the move. Moving over. Copy that. Moving over. Ready to go. Let's reload everyone. Good. We know there is another double Viper pack in there. We are 13 down plus uh, two Vipers. That's probably going to be the extent of uh, all of the enemies. That would be 15, maybe 16. It's going to be a nail biter. I don't know. Maybe there is one more pack. You really think you could hide from me? Good. Let's hope that they are running into us. A solid overwatch trap would be fantastic. That did not work out so far. Looking a bit at the time. Let's see if we can do the next pack and then unfortunately we probably will need to do a third part of this first mission. Oh, but it is, like I said, it's very painful. Having those low, uh, low uh, pistols, yeah, or those, those low weapons in general, and no equipment whatsoever, that really limits what you can do. Come on, just walk into us. Okay, so moving up. Opening all of the doors. Let's try that again. Nothing else helps. We got to get in there with our scout. The problem why I don't want to use him extensively is the Reaper could be discovered by the uh, by the Chosen. I will go. Reapers are always vigilant. I feel. Overwatch. So I'm trying to set up this really well-placed overwatch trap. We know there is one more pack down there. Time is running out, Commander. There we go. Got spotted out. I figured it would happen sooner or later. No point in 
hiding with the Reaper now. Might as well move in. And just treat the Reaper as a normal um, frontline unit. At least he's not injured yet. Biggest advantage, of course, is the stealth and having someone who can just spot that out is a hard counter for the class. Him being a squaddy certainly does not improve the situation a lot. Okay. Pretty sure they are here. All right, all right. Lots and lots of Overwatch. 